Hello and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Michael Tricarico and here are today's top stories. We have just received some breaking news out of Arkansas. The governor has sent the state's controversial religious freedom bill back to the House for review. We'll have more updates at 6 p.m. And students are finally able to buy tickets for Block Party after University Union released the entertainment lineup. The show will be highlighted by 50 Cent, Kygo, and Ray Simaru. Student-only pre-sale started at 10. Tickets for the general public will begin on Friday. The concert will take place on April 24th. The governor of California has announced its first statewide water ban in history. Golf courses and campuses will be required to cut water use, lawns will be replaced with drought-resistant landscaping, and grass on public street medians will go dry. As of today, 98% of the state remains in some level of drought. International forces have driven ISIS out of one of their biggest strongholds. Tikrit was captured by the terrorist group last summer and has been the major focus in the war against them for several weeks. The loss is a huge blow to ISIS's supply lines. Coalition forces are expected to make their way to the group's capital in Mosul. And it's April Fool's Day, which means companies try to trick consumers with their best pranks. Google put a new feature on its maps that allows you to play Pac-Man on city streets anywhere in the world. Game of Thrones teased a version of the board game Clue using its storyline, and our neighbors WJPZ Radio rebranded themselves as Elf89 with 24-7 Christmas music. For more jokes, head over to our website at citrustv.net. And that's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Michael Tricarico.